A final major topic, a subtopic I want to talk about in the context of behaviorism education is this issue of control, uh, this issue of uh, being a conditioner. And this is one of the things that, uh, in the context particularly of 20th and 21st century uh, American education, really gets people's hackles up. And it's one of the things that the, the behaviorists say we have to make no bones about. Our job as educators is to control the stimuli uh, in order to get the desired behaviors. Our job as educators is not to teach students to explore their value preferences. Our job is not to motivate students to become self-learners. Our job is not to let the student's inner child or inner preferences work their way out and piggyback on them in order to facilitate the student's uh, self-expression and, uh, and self-development. All of that, the behaviorists argue, is based on a faulty view of human nature and simply sets ourselves up for ineffective education. And certainly one of the major criticisms that the behaviorists mount about 20th century and 21st century education is that it's uh, completely ineffective or largely ineffective. We're not generating the kinds of students who uh, know what they need to know and are able to do what they're supposed to be able to do. And the behaviorist argument is that we have incorporated into the educational system faulty views of what uh, the human being is. Uh, and so we have uh, incorporated faulty views of what education should be all about. Now, I have a quotation here from uh, John Watson, one of the early founders of the behavioral approach that I think is, uh, is important here uh, uh, in, 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 its, in its fundamental consistency uh, in terms of behavioral application. So here's the quotation here. Psychology, as the behaviorist views it, is a purely objective, experimental branch of natural science. Its theoretical goal is the prediction and control of behavior. Introspection forms no essential part of its method, nor is the scientific value of its de data dependent upon the readiness with which they lend themselves to interpretation in terms of consciousness. The behaviorist recognizes no dividing line between man and brute. On that latter point, we think of the dog training analogy here again. Uh, we're not primarily interested if we're dog trainers in what the dog wants, what the dog feels, what are the dog's goals in life. Uh, you know, the inner dog uh, and letting the dog be all that the dog can be. We have specific behavioral outcomes that we want to train the dog in terms of, uh, and that is, that's our objective. Uh, we, are, we, are, we are objective. We are scientific, we are engineers, we are technicians. The human being is simply a more complicated uh, case right, uh, 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 of an animal that is subject to objective conditioning. And so we are conditioners, we are technicians, we are engineers, end of the story. Uh, our job is to control the environment, to eliminate all of the haphazard stimuli, all of the uncontrollable stimuli, all of the erratic stimuli to control entirely the, uh, the environment so that students are exposed to the right conditions at the right time and the right intensity so as to get the desired behavioral outcomes. Uh, and uh, that is our job. That is our, so our professional obligation right, as, ed, uh, as educators. And we should uh, ruthlessly eliminate any res resistance we feel within ourselves as educators uh, toward achieving those ends.